Welcome to lesson 10 of our tag mini album. This is going to be, this class is going to be working on our October tag. This one's super fun. It's got some embossing and we've also got some fun interactive pockets. Lots of journaling and photo space in this one. All right, so let's jump right into creating our fun embossed tag. The first thing we're going to do is gather our supplies. You're going to need our Time to Flourish Clean Stamp number two. This has got all sorts of really amazing things that you can use year after year with a happy holidays, celebrate, happy anniversary, many thanks, and you're going to be able to really get a lot of good use out of this one. We're also going to use one of our large black tags, our cut apart page, and our flourish page. So from the cut apart page, let's get started. What we're going to take from this is the first thing we're going to want to cut out is this cute little butterfly journaling tag. It's numbered 1 through 10. We'll cut that out. Also working from down there, we're going to cut out this fun black poem, Deep into the Darkness. You're going to note here when we're cutting it, we're going to keep the topped flourish banner here, but we're going to cut off the excess on the other three sides. So on the top we have the ivory flourish banner, but we do not have it on the other side, so we just kept it to the orange. Also, this is really fun, you can look at this postcard and think, I really love the image, but I don't have a space for something that large. So we're going to cut it apart and just use what we need. So we're going to cut this crow and pumpkin down to size, and that's going to be to three and by three inches. And then going up from there, we're going to cut out It's Frightful. We're also going to cut out the October month, and this is cut to three and seven eighths. And then we're going to cut a few other border pieces. If I can grab these. We're going to cut just a strip of the orange to three and seven eighths. And we'll do the same with this purple border, but we'll cut two of these at three and seven eighths. And then we'll cut the All Hallows Eve from that border at three and seven eighths as well. And then we're going to take some of our coordination signature series, rust colored, I think it's called Tuscan Sunset. We're going to take this and we're going to cut two of these photo mats for the back of it at three and one fourth by three and one fourth, and one more at three by three. And then we've got some nice little May Arts ribbons. So now we can go ahead and get started. I've going to the first thing I'm going to do is start gluing down my pieces. So I'm going to glue down my border strips and then I'll leave the inside flourish pocket for later. So the first thing I want to glue down is my 3 and 7 8 inch orange border. And I'm going to glue that down. I'm measuring just from this top here, not the very top dome, but the top flat edges of the tag. And I'm going to glue that down at a half of an inch. Don't worry if you get a little glue spillage. We can take a wipe and wipe that off. And it's also going to dry clear, so it's not going to be too big of a problem. So now next, going from there, I'm going to glue down my purple strip, and I'm going to glue this at one inch. And then I'm going to take my October month, and gluing from the bottom of my October, I'm going to glue this down at two inches. There we go. So I'm just going to score this at one eighth of an inch from the top, just going over that score line 
until you feel like you've got it really there. I think three or four times is usually good. This is going to create our hinge. So now the only thing I'm adhering down is just this flap that we just scored. So I'm going to adhere just this down. And I'm going to glue this at two and a half inches and center it. So it has about an eighth of an inch on either side. Now going from there, I've got that second purple border at three and seven eighths. And then that last All Hallows Eve border, it's going to get glued down to the bottom, leaving about an eighth of an inch from the bottom. And this is also marked at seven and three fourths if you're measuring from the top. All right. So now that we've got all of our pieces on the front glued on, next comes the embossing. We really wanted to highlight in this workshop how great embossing looks on our black tags. So you can even leave the paper off, or you could do some embossing on the back, or however you want to do it. But we're going to do, for this example in the workshop, just with some white embossing powder. So from our Time to Flourish stamp two, this is the one I'm going to be using. I'm just going to mount it onto my acrylic block. Using some clear embossing ink. I'm going to be quickly stamping just right in the center of each of my strips. Now, for that ink dries, I'm going to just put this on top of a little Ziploc bag and get my embossing powder all over my different stamps. And, of course, tap off the excess. We're going to take our embossing gun. So after you're done embossing, you can do white like I did, or I wanted to show you some other fun examples of how we've used orange and a little, it's a grayish um, off-white color that ties in too. So whichever you have at home or whatever you, suits your needs, um, at this point we're going to go ahead and start embellishing the rest of it. So we're going to take up this fun flap that we've created, and inside that flap we're going to glue down just a nice photo mat for you. We always want lots of space so we can document our day-to-day. -day. All right, so we've got the photo mat. Now we're going to create another fun little door. So I've taken this 3x3 three three square that we cut out earlier with the crow and the pumpkin, and we're going to score this just like we scored this, where we're going to create this fun little hinge. So taking your scoreboard or your a paper trimmer, whatever you have. Convenient, we're going to score this at one eighth of an inch on the right hand or on the left hand side. This is going to create our little flap. So I've scored this on the left hand side, one eighth of an inch, and this is all where I'm going to put the adhesive down, not anywhere else. So on our little one eighth of an inch flap, add your adhesive, flip your card up. Here I'm going to go ahead and adhere this down. After that's adhered down, we're going to make a fun little tab pull with It's Frightful. So keeping in mind, I don't want to put glue on this end because that's where I'm going to be pulling. So I'm going to put glue from the T 
on. And just adhere that down. Perfect. So now I have something to pull my little door open. And inside here, I'm going to glue in my list, my 1 to 10. So for the month of October, maybe you could write down your 10 favorite things about Halloween or about October or fall, or maybe 10 things you're grateful for. We're going to glue that right inside here. Maybe your 10 favorite candies. As a candy fanatic, that might be something that I would do. And then you can put another photo here. You can close that up, close that up, and then we've got two more finishing touches. We've created a bow using our May Arts ribbon. I'm just going to notch off my ends. I want to have a fun little end, so I'm going to pinch it together and then create, going from the pinch down, I'm going to create a V. So doing the same on the other tail. Pinch it in the center. And cut a V. Perfect. So you have those great little perfect ends. Add some adhesive to the back of our bow. And that's just going to go right on that purple border right in the center. We'll give that time, time to dry. And then taking those other two photo mats, these are going to go on the back. And again, these are at three and one fourths by three and one fourths. Perfect. And there you have it. We have our October tag card.